Hey everyone, uh, AJ here again. So, my buddy sent me this app called Design Details Pro, and honestly, I have I'm really excited to see uh, where this app is going to go. Uh, more importantly, I'm excited to see um, you know obviously what new features they'll be adding as well. But what this app essentially is is pretty much a no code. Uh, iOS app builder but what's great about it is when you design your app it actually exports it and generates Swift UI code that you can just copy and just put into your Xcode project which is kind of insane now they have a great UI obviously I mean someone that knows iOS guidelines definitely designed this um, they have an upgrade feature when you upgrade um, uh, I'm not going to upgrade. Uh, let's see here. When you upgrade, you're going to get, um, you can learn SwiftUI. I don't know to that extent what that means. Um, you can export SwiftUI code. I'm not sure. I think you just copy it, so I'm not sure here. Um, you can preview an AR and use MapKit, which is kind of cool. Uh, and then they have some really cool templates here. So, you can create a login screen, um, you know, uh, you can create all different types of, like, you know, widgets they even have. Like, look, a, a Twitch medium sized widget that you can and just copy and start diving in. Um, what's really cool, let me just dive into this login because I'm, I'm curious to see what this is about. So, when I open this, it's going to open it for me. Cool. Yeah, I'll give you, I'll give you guys a good rating. No, we're not gonna write a review. So when I open this, okay, yeah. So they're using buttons. Okay, so the one. So let me just go back. The one thing I will say. Let me start blank. So what we have here is a blank. Actually, let me go back and delete this because um, I now have reached my limit. So. One thing that I will say, I'll start with a blank iPhone. So it's cool about this. Okay, one, if you're just designing basic information, like if you want to like just design some cards real quick, some UI cards, um, any type of like headers up here, whatever, this is a great app for it. I mean, you can get things done very quick. And what I mean by that is if I click this plus here, it's going to show me a bunch of options. I can immediately add a vertical stack, horizontal stack, layered stack, which is, again, a Z stack, a space, you know, all these options, right? Um, you know, I can start, you know, add a Z stack here, right? And then let's just say I'm gonna add a rectangle. Um, and let me just quit out of here, quit. Um, add a rectangle. And now this rectangle essentially is taking on my whole screen, right? But what I can do is I can go ahead and add some modifiers, right? Um, they have some quick little shortcuts over here. It feels a lot like a Figma type app, right? So I'm gonna add a frame, and this frame is gonna be a height of, let's just add uh, 54. And let's do, and then we can go ahead and add a modifier. Oh no, we have right here, add padding. So, and then lastly, um, we want to maybe add a shadow and uh, Maybe we can add an overlay, and this overlay, select overlay, is a, oh, we're gonna trash that. Um, just for, just for uh, tutorial purposes, I'm gonna add another modifier. I'm gonna do corner radius, and we're gonna bring this um, to like 14, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove this padding, um, remove that padding, yeah, so now we have the corner radius, and what I need to do is I need to add the padding to the Z stack. Um, so then I'm just gonna come in here and add a text, and um, this text is gonna say, where is it? A Hello world's cool. We'll add a color, and we're gonna make this color, let's make it a background. Uh, let's make it, you know what, let's make it this. Um, Hello, world. 
And if you're my baby, you're sitting with me right here. Uh, so I apologize for that. So I'm actually going to put this in the layered stack right here. And sometimes we do have some bugs like what we're seeing right here, which is, uh, there we go. So what's actually really cool um, is I'm almost positive. Yeah, so what's really cool about this is let me go in here and let me get this rectangle real quick. And I'm going to add a color to it. And we're going to make this primary. Um, so what's really cool is they actually have a dark mode and light mode. So if I do dark, if you select the right colors, it's automatically going to change based on the current settings. Look at that, the light, you see? So again, this is a really cool product. I mean, I'm really, really enjoying it. I designed um, this shortcut, a lot of my, my, my own apps UI in here. Um, the app I'm creating is called Zozo. We're launching in the next, after my son here. Woo! Um, his name's Lorenzo. Um, Zozo is an iPhone, is an iOS keyboard shortcut app, which allows you to create keyboard shortcuts for photos, URLs, text phrases, documents, um, and soon videos, which means you create a shortcut in Zozo here, and then um, when you create that shortcut, you go into your, uh, your, your device's settings, you turn on Zozo's keyboard, give it full access, and then what happens is whenever your iOS keyboard is toggled on, um, you can navigate to Zozo's keyboard like you would to the emoji keyboard or whatever, and it'll sh display your shortcuts. And you, all you need to do to use these shortcuts is tap one, right? So if I want to share a photo, I just tap it, um, and then I can go ahead and share. If I want to share a URL, I just tap the shortcut I created, and it's going to paste it in there for me. Uh, so we're, you know, we're, we're launching this very soon. We have about 300 beta testers already, uh, which is really, really exciting. And it's going to be on iPhone and iPad and then Mac will be coming soon. Um, I wonder it's not on my computer. I'll show you. Uh, so I designed, so this is our settings page, right? Um, and yeah, it sucks that I can't add a button, right? And I had to design this by adding a layered stack and then a horizontal stack and then a spacer, you know? But what's cool about this is if I go ahead and um, I think, I don't know where, oh yeah, here, it should be. Okay, yeah, so like here's my code, right? I can just copy this. Look at all this, look. I can just copy everything and just paste it into Xcode and it'll, it'll display this, um, which is really cool because these are literally, uh, these are literally SF symbols, um, which is really cool. So if I click here, you have a whole SF symbol library that you can search. And they have like scrolling containers, which is really cool, dividers, blurs, gradients, which is annoying making gradients in Swift UI. So, um, and then they have a bunch of like modifiers. The one thing I do wish they would add, um, one, I wish they would add inputs. So you can start styling like text inputs, that would be huge, uh, and buttons, so that you don't have to add an on-tab gesture to these when you do move the code over. Um, it would be really cool to have the ability to create extensions, so if you have a bunch of the same design, you can create little extensions that you can then maybe grab from here and add to a specific element. Um, and then lastly, what I think would, oh, they, they need to have the ability to add um, you know, a custom tab bar. Now this is, I believe, made by the owner. Uh, but it, it looks like he just, they just renamed things. Like this looks like a rectangle, like not an actual tab bar component uh, that you would make in Swift, actual in Ex in, actually ex in Xcode. So that, and then lastly, this maybe not as m important, but what would be really cool is if they added some sort of animations so maybe you could start playing around with some states in here um, and you can start creating some cool animations so that you can create maybe some really cool prototypes in this. And that's what's really cool about those prototypes is that you can easily export each page's code and, and bring that prototype to life in Xcode. And trust me, this is a lot quicker to build 
I mean, I did this in 15 minutes, I think, all this. And instead of just like coding it in Xcode, um, you know, so really excited to see what this app is going to uh, bring. Uh, the owner, the founder who, who makes a lot of these tutorials seems like a really cool guy and he's, he's, he's doing a lot. This is a genius idea. I'm really excited to see what happened, what, what's, you know, to come. Um, but I won't be upgrading until I see more of those features I talked about. So, um, yeah, just really, really excited. They have a whole community section, which is really cool. Um, and yeah, I mean, you can just start exploring, like you can start customizing all this stuff, all these types of things, app libraries, like really, really excited just to see, um, you know, where this, where this is going to go. And again, I just wish there was better options when adding things, you know, I, I just think it's limited over here. Um, but that's just me because yeah, you can't turn like there's code right here too. Look, look at that. You know, look at all this. I mean, that's look, trust me. It, it helps a lot. Um, so yeah, it doesn't even seem, yeah, you can't even convert this into like, I wonder layering background, transform, rotate, offset, effects, color mode. Yeah, you can't. Yeah. Okay, but yeah, I just want to introduce you guys. Oh, what's really also cool about this app is it's on Mac, it's on iPad, and it's on the iPhone. I actually designed this screen on my iPhone. Like, in my spare time, I was just, you know, set it up. And look how nice it turned out. You know, I think it turned out really nice. Um, the only thing was that this didn't get updated. So now everything's aligned perfectly. So... You can also, when you create an account, they, they also don't require you to create an account, but when you do, um, this is my, this is Zozo, by the way, the app I'm starting. When you do, you can actually publish some of your designs that people can start, you know, checking out or copying. And I, I suspect that maybe at one point they might add the ability, my washer is so loud, oh my gosh. They might add the ability to uh, you know, sell some of your designs, you know, that would be, you know, that's something I would definitely put time into, um, if people are going to start, you know, copying my, my, my templates. So really, really excited for this. I'm, I'm hoping that they continue to advance it. I did put in a submission request, like I did send in feedback and, you know, I'll go ahead and do it again. Hey, when will you guys be adding new um, features like text inputs, um, what else, uh, tab bar, oh, tab bar option, uh, animations, uh, yeah, let's just do that thing. Looking forward to hearing from you, uh, love your app. Sure. Okay. I mean, I haven't heard back from them yet, but, you know, we will see. Really excited to see where this is going to go, but wanted to share this with the iOS dev community, see if this can help in any way. Talk to you guys in, in, in my later, I guess, new tutorials I'll be launching. New Swift UI tutorial coming soon, too, as well.